Hey everybody, it's PJ from Wisconsin Air Gunners. We are on the backyard range and we are smack dab in between eight inches of snow yesterday and polar vortex coming tonight. We got predicted temperatures 15 to 20 below zero and God only knows what the wind chill is going to wind up being. It's the perfect time to go inside and do a little installation work. So what I'm going to be installing today is the monopod from Sabre Tactical. Check this out. This thing is incredibly smooth. Probably hear that wind coming in now. You've got a magnetic part that connects to your uh, Sabre Tactical uh, buttstock, um, either on a Maverick or one of the chassis guns or on your impact. This attaches there and then when you're ready to connect up and shoot, that pops in, it's magnetically aligned, um, and then you're ready to adjust. So super simple. Let's head inside and put this thing together. The bench version is going to come to you in two separate parts. You've got the base plate, which handles your windage requirements, and then the upright with the elevation control and then the bracket that goes on the gun. You have to connect these two. It's a simple matter of lining up the hole in the bottom, putting that bolt through, taking a four millimeter wrench and then threading these together. Once you've got that snug, part A is in the bag. The installation process is really simple. All you're going to do is take these two bolts and you're going to attach into those two holes. Very straightforward. There's that. Attaching the monopod then to the rifle is a simple manner of lining up the tracks and then letting the magnets do their thing. Taking the rifle off is just reversing the process. Slide it up, off, you're ready to go. If you're using the field version, the process is exactly the same. You've got these magnets. You're going to line them up, pop it in, and then you're ready to go. The beauty of this design is that once it's installed, you still have full function and adjustability of your length of pull on the buttstock. You also don't lose any range of motion up and down. You still have your full range. and that still locks in nice and solid. Installation on the Sabre Tactical chassis is just as simple. All you're doing is lining those two bolts up with the holes on the chassis and then screwing it in. You may have noticed this knob here on the action of the monopod. This actually screws in and out and controls the amount of tension on the threads. So if you want 
a little bit more resistance to the movements, you can screw it in um, and it will, it will make it a little bit tighter to turn it or you can loosen it up a little bit and you find it's a little bit easier to move. You can also kind of lock it down so you don't get any movement uh, if your shooting situation dictates that. The one thing that you can't tell from a video, um, and you really have to have one of these in your hands to, to appreciate it, but just how smooth the movement is. Um, I am not a machinist and don't know an awful lot about screws or thread pitches or whatever, um, but this, this just rolls so smoothly. I mean, you just dial where you want that resistance to be, and you can really make some pinpoint adjustments with this. It is so smooth, uh, the mechanism just feels like it's dipped in butter or something like that. But when you touch this, it's all dry. There, there's, no, there's no powder uh, residue. Uh, I honestly am, I'm, I'm kind of unclear <laughs> on how they did it, but it is nothing short of miraculous. Nice job, Sabre Tactical. So here's one of the great things about it. If you have multiple rifles that this can uh, work with, you don't have to take this bracket off every time. Uh, Saber Tactical actually um, offers as a fairly inexpensive pickup multiple brackets. I, I think they're in the neighborhood of 20 bucks on their website uh, and I'm sure they're out to dealers by now. So if you, like me, have you know both the Crown and the Dreamline in a chassis and you don't want to take that off every single time, um, you just buy an extra bracket and you pop it in there and then whichever rifle you have it's already set up and ready to go. When it's not on the rifle it doesn't take up a lot of space and it doesn't get in the way of any of your other shooting. So uh, I mounted this over on the you know the magazine side on the right side of the rifle and it's all set ready to go and then when I am in a shooting situation where I want this it just slides right back in. Great stuff. So we're gonna actually use the bench version and we're gonna line up a shot on this hanging target right here. I am not touching the rifle at all except um, the monopod. Hopefully that should be enough for wind. Looks like we got it. Very smooth. And you have loads of adjustment um, up, down, left, and right. You can go, you can go quite a, quite a ways. So that's at 30 yards um, and you're going from 10 feet up in that tree 
to uh, right down to the ground. So imagine if you were at 100 yards, um, you pretty much cover a whole arc of fire with that setup. And very smooth, like I said, the one thing that you're not going to be able to tell from the from the video, obviously, is just how smooth the mechanism is. I don't know what else to call it. Here on my impact, because I have a bag rider installed, I put the adapter on the left side of the rifle. It doesn't get in the way of shouldering at all, uh, no problems at all, and the installation is the same. You just want to pay attention to the orientation of the two magnets. When it's installed, you want the magnets middle and up. That's what's actually holding it in place on the monopod. So you just want to flip it so that they're installed in the up orientation. Well, everybody, uh, I hope that helps you with your installation, maybe a little bit on your decision as to whether or not to pick one of these bad boys up. Um, if you do a lot of bench shooting like I do, um, I see this is a really excellent tool to just wring that last little bit of repeatability out of your rifle. Uh, not only for competition, but uh, when you're trying to do testing and making sure that you're tuning um, just to the exact same um, exact same spot every time. Um, I think it's a really great uh, a great pickup. So if you enjoyed the video, if it's helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Much appreciated. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. And until the next video, shoot safe, shoot straight, and we'll see you around.